Hi kids! Our lesson for today is estimation of products of decimal numbers with reasonable results. In estimating the products of decimal numbers, always remember the rules applied in multiplying whole numbers. After going through this lesson, you are expected to estimate the products of decimal numbers with reasonable results. Study the exchange rates between the Philippine peso against some currencies. So we have here a table of Banco Central ng Pilipinas financial market operations subsector reference exchange rate bulletin as of September 18, 2020. In order to estimate the peso equivalent of different currencies, let us follow the following steps. So estimate, let us estimate the peso equivalent of $76. So we are going to multiply it by 48.4540,000. So multiply lang natin. So kung mag estimate tayo, kailangan natin i-round off to the nearest whole number. So itong 48 and 4540,000. Rounds to 48 and then yung 76 dollars natin. Rounds to 80. Then saka tayo magmumultiply. So 48 times 80. So ito ay 0, 0. Then 8 times 8 is equal to 64 carry 6. 8 times 4 plus 6 is equal to 38. Then add 0, 4, 8, 3. So, $76 is approximately 3,840 pesos. The easiest way on how you can estimate the product of decimal numbers is by rounding off. This will help you in performing the multiplication of decimal numbers. So, let us estimate 38 times 312 pesos and 50 centavos. So first, we are going to round this off to the nearest whole number. So 38 becomes 40, then 312 and 50 centavos becomes 310. So we round off lang natin to the nearest whole number and then we multiply. So 40 times 310, the answer is 12,400 pesos. Let us have another example. So we have 78 and 4 tenths times 4 and 8,500. So, a round off natin to the nearest whole number. So, that is 78. 78 and 4 tenths becomes 80. So, we round off natin. And then, 4 and 8,500 rounds to 5. Then, let us multiply. So, 80 times 5 is equals to 400. To find the reasonable estimate using decimal number, round the decimal number to the nearest whole number. So, saan ba natin ginagamit yung pag -e estimate Ba't ba natin ito pinag-aaralan? So, di ba, pag pumupunta tayo sa grocery, pag namimili tayo, kalimitan ng mga can goods doon may decimal point. So, halimbawa ay Argentina o yung mga meatloaf. So, may, meron yung decimal point. Mga noodles, mga milk. So, kapag mamimili tayo, para malaman natin kung magkakasya ba yung dala nating pera, ang gagawin natin, mag -e estimate tayo. So, i-round off natin yung mga presyo to the nearest whole number. So, saka tayo mag -a add and then i-minus natin para malaman natin kung kakasya ba yung dala nating pera dun sa ating pinamili. So, dun natin ginagamit yung estimation. So, ayun yung ating lesson for today. I hope marami kayong natutunan. Thank you for watching and please don't forget to like and subscribe. Bye!